Hello and welcome to this, the third Shamsi Flintoff songwriting competition. After two years of live events, we had been toying with the idea of asking for recorded submissions for this year, but we weren't expecting for it to be enforced, as it were. Still, we're really keen to celebrate as much music as we can from lockdown, and what better way to do this than to hear some original songs by some of our really talented songwriters. I'm delighted that five Benenon girls have sent in the songs you're about to hear. Some were written and recorded prior to the lockdown, Others have been projects over recent weeks. And though in theory this is a competition, in that one girl will be recognised as the 2020 winner of the Shamsi Flintoff songwriting competition, the more important thing is this is a celebration of Benenden musicians and their songwriting. And I'm very grateful to Paul Flintoff, Freddie's father, for providing the impetus for this project three years ago. So that's quite enough of an introduction. We're now going to hear seven songs from five singer-songwriters Josie Lomax, Amelie Jatt, Caitlin Chu, Aressa Raja Rizwa, and Amelia Shen. Aressa and Amelie have submitted two each, and I'll introduce each song as we move through the tracks. So, to kick things off, we have Aressa Raja Rizwa with her song I'm Fine, and she sent this to us by way of explanation. I wrote both songs in my dorm in my first term of Benenden. My biggest inspiration is Biba Doobie, and I began songwriting in the summer of 2019 because of her. I hope everyone loves the songs as much as I do. Great start, Aressa, thank you. We move on to Josie Lomax, who, as well as her busy life in school as a violinist and choral singer, really loves her songwriting. Her song, Pearly Gates, is about crime and global warming, how we are the reason that the world is damaged, and yet we still don't believe it. Here in the light 
Thank you, Josie. Amelia Shen attributes the inspiration for her song, Cities of Gold, to spending time with her friends in school. She says, This song originally started out as a dorm idea, where the line Cities of Gold and a couple of short verses were invented between the four of us. I basically turned it into a real song by adding more lyrics and music, so it will always remind me of good times in that dorm. Oh, no. 
Emily Jatt is a seasoned songwriter, and I'm always astounded by how quickly she turns an idea into the finished product. Uh, you may have seen in the bulletins that Emily has just released an album, and she's donating profits to OCD Action. Do have a listen online, or preferably buy a physical copy of the CD from Emily when we're back in school. In the meantime, as something of a taster, we're going to hear two tracks from the album today. The first one being Bottles. Emily tells us Bottles is the kind of song that can be interpreted in a different way every time and is usually understood differently and personally by each listener. It's a song about losing someone or something important to you but keeping their memory alive in your head anyway because it made you happy while it lasted.
More from Amelie in a bit. But now another musician who is well known to the school through numerous concert performances. And here she is in a different light. Caitlin Chu wrote her song Fighters a few weeks ago and she said this about it. I was inspired to write this song after I saw numerous reports about the ongoing coronavirus when I was at school. I felt helpless. There was nothing I could do to help. Therefore, I decided to write a song to thank all the medical staff for their restless efforts and encourage all affected citizens and families. Hopefully, this can help encourage them to keep fighting and together we can win this battle. tribute there Caitlin thank you next we have a second song from Aressa this is Miss You
Thank you, Aressa. And so we come to the last of our seven original songs, and it's back to Amelie Jatt. She's going to conclude this Shamsi Flintoff 2020 playlist with Comets. And she says, Sometimes you meet the right people at the wrong time, and some people are wrong for each other at the right time instead. Comets is about loving and losing someone who you just weren't meant to be with. And it doesn't matter how much you care, sometimes it just wasn't written in the stars. Heads down walking the road But my heart prayed for the impossible Finding you in lines that I read And I got you winked on the edge of my sleeve They say that everything that scares you is worth All the sleepless nights anticipating the heart Flickering eyes hiding the truth What if I never find Someone like you Were we just wrong at the right time And there's nobody like you Comets colliding in the wrong sky Were we just wrong at the right time And there's nobody like you And are we comets colliding in the wrong sky I'm thinking about the things I can't change, moments that have passed now And I never saw a future in us But wake me up and we fall to dust We'll forget someone like you Were we just wrong at the right time? And there's nobody like you And are we comets colliding in the wrong sky? Were we just wrong at the right time? And there's nobody like you
Thank you, Emily. And thanks to all five girls for writing these songs and for sharing them with us. I know lots of people will have really enjoyed hearing what you've written and performed, and I'll make sure Mr Flintoff hears them too. All that remains to be said is a message to all our musicians. Please keep writing, playing, singing, as it unquestionably lifts the spirits. We're hoping to set up some pre-recorded remote lunchtime concerts in the second half of term, so girls, please do talk to your teachers and send in audio or video files whenever you're ready. Thanks for listening.